In this demo, we will have a look at the user interface of the Acronis CyberProtect Cloud from the viewpoint of a customer. So let's get started. Once you logged into the management console, you will see a dashboard presenting the current cyber protection status of your endpoints. The information is stratified according to some predefined topics and displayed in widgets. You can customize the available widgets, rearrange them within the dashboard, and add new widgets by pressing the Add Widget button. The sections, activities, and alerts display the whole history of cyber protection operations of your endpoints and the information about the most recent operations accordingly. The section threat feed contains all alerts about various cybersecurity threats generated by the Acronis Cyber Protection Operations Center that are relevant for you. For instance, if your office is located in Miami and you have machines powered by Windows and Mac OS, you will get only those alerts which are valid for your region and your operating systems. Let's navigate to the section devices. Here you can see all the machines of your employees registered within the Acronis CyberProtect cloud. You can narrow down the scope and display only those machines which have the protection agents or those which are not protected. Let's navigate to the section data protection map. Here, you can see which files and file extensions are not protected for each endpoint. You can use this information to protect even some rare ad hoc file types that are important for your business, which can be overlooked by traditional antiviruses. Let's navigate to section plans. Here, you can create and manage protection plans for all your endpoints. In turn, in the section cloud application backups, you can create and manage protection plans for a wide range of cloud applications, such as Microsoft 365 mailboxes, OneDrive, SharePoint sites, Google Drive, Gmail, and websites. In the section backup scanning, you can create protection plans for proactive protection and automatic malware scanning of backups created for your endpoints. In the section VM replication, you could see all your physical machines that have been replicated as virtual machines. Let's navigate to the section Anti-Malware Protection. Here, under Quarantine, you could see the infected files detected on your machines. Those files are encrypted and moved to a special protected folder, preventing further execution and potential harm to your machines. In the section Whitelist, you can see all corporate applications that are unknown to antivirus software and are detected during backup scanning. Those files are marked as trusted because they have been existing on many machines for a long period of time and therefore should not be detected as malware during the backup scan. Let's navigate to the section Software Management and then Patches. Here you can see all the patches for all applications installed on your machines. The patch management available within the Acronis CyberProtect Cloud is easy to use but very powerful. First, you can install updates both for Microsoft and third-party applications. Second, you can install all updates or only security and critical updates. Third, you can specify some fine-grained rules for updating each and every Microsoft and third-party application. For more information, please watch our separate videos on patch management. In the section Vulnerabilities, you can see all vulnerabilities of all applications installed in your machines and detected by Acronis CyberProtect Cloud. For each vulnerability, Acronis CyberProtect Cloud offers some solutions how to fix it, for example, by installing a patch. In the section Backup Storage, you can see all the storages used for storing backups. You can also access the recovery points and perform the corresponding recovery operations. In the section Reports, you can see a large number of reports on various aspects of cyber protection and backup. Along with the standard reports, you can create a custom report and configure it by yourself. Let's navigate to the section Settings and then Credentials. 
Here you can access all the passwords that you saved in the service for the encrypted backups of your endpoints. In the section protection, you can change a default schedule for automatic updates of the cyber protection definitions for each component, that is anti-malware, vulnerability assessment, and patch management. In the section agents, you can check the status of all protected agents installed on your machines and update them if required. Finally, let's navigate to the section System Settings. Here you can see many additional fine-grained settings. For example, you can turn on validation of backups after they are created or adjust the level of data compression in backups.